Good morning year six. Today in our maths lesson we are going to be converting fractions to percentages. So to warm our brains up we are going to convert these simple fractions and percentages. Now from yesterday's lesson we should all remember that percentage equals out of 100. Okay. So if our denominator on our fraction is 100 we can easily convert it to a percentage. So this fraction here, 35 hundredths, we could say that that is 35%. So because your denominator is 100, this one here is also 62%. We haven't got any converting to do because our denominator is 100 and we know that percentage means out of 100. So 99 hundredths, 99%. And then 7 hundredths would be 7%. Okay, so that was our fractions to percentages, and now we're going to do the opposite. So converting the percentages to fractions. So remembering our denominator needs to be 100. So this one we have got 41 out of 100, 3 out of 100, 37 out of 100, and then last one, 10 out of 100. Okay, so always keep remembering that percentage means out of 100. So here we have got 100 square. It tells us here that 17 hundredths have been shaded in. So what percentage of the grid is shaded? So 17 hundredths would look like that as a fraction. So our denominator is 100. So we can say that that is 17% of that grid has been shaded. Now we've got two more grids over here. We have got 10, 20, 30, 40 out of 100. So let's work out this one first. Now, because our denominator is 100, we can straight away say that that percentage is 40%. Now here, we can see that our square is not made up of hundreds. This is, these um, bars are tenths, okay? So we have got one, two, three, four, five. Five tenths are shaded in. Now, to get from 10 to 100, we know that we need to multiply by 10. So whatever you do to your denominator, you do to the numerator. So 5 times 10 is 50. So that fraction would be 50 hundredths. Now, because our denominator is now 100, we can say that our percentage is 50%. Okay, so moving on then, we have got one, two, three, five questions here. Some are, well, the first one, the denominator is already 100 for you, so you haven't got to do any converting. But the other four, you need to convert the denominator to 100 to find out your percentage. Okay, so pause this video here for me, please, and have a go at these questions. Okay then, so these are the answers that you should have got. So 77 hundredths, which equals 77%. One fifth would be equal to 20 hundredths, which would then equal 20%, because remembering that we need to have 100 as our denominator. Three quarters equals 75 hundredths, which would equal 75%. One twentieth, which equals five hundredths, would equal 5%, so that one you'd have to work backwards to know that you've got 5 as your um, numerator because that is your percentage. And then 17 twentieths would equal 85 hundredths, which equals 85%. Okay then, so your work today is converting fractions to percentages. And you have got, oh, there we go, you have got 7 questions for you to answer today, okay? Now, the main thing for your um, lesson today is to always remember that percentage is out of 100. So if you have not got a fraction that has got the denominator as 100, then you need to convert it. OK, so you can pause this video here and then come back when you are ready to do your problem solving and reasoning questions. OK, then, so let's have a look at some problem solving and reasoning questions. So. Here we have, George says 8 twentieths as a percentage is 40%. Is he correct? Convince me. So, 
straight away I can see that this is not correct at, at the moment to create a percentage. So we need to have a, a denominator of 100. So what do we multiply 20 by to get to 100? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. We multiply by 5. So whatever you do to the bottom, we do to the top. So 8 times 5, oops, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 40 hundredths. So I know that that would equal to 40% because 100 is our denominator and that percentage means that is out of 100. So is he correct? So yes, he is correct. Because, and then I would have shown my working out that I've just done up there. Okay, so he, he is correct because 8 twentieths equals 40 hundredths, which equals 40%. Okay, now let's have a look at this question here. Darren has converted a fraction into a percentage. He says, my denominator is 10 or 20. Mm. My numerator is even. My percentage is greater than 65%. What could his fraction and percentage combinations be? Find two examples for each denominator. Okay then, so let's have a look at a denominator of 20. So I know that to get to 20, I need to make from 20 to 100, I need to multiply by 5. So I need to, a number that will multiply by 5, to, that would give me a number greater than 65. And my numerator is even. So I'm going to think about my numbers. So if I start off with 10, and I need to multiply by 5 to get a number greater than 65, 10 times 5 would be 50, so that's not greater than 65. So what about 13 times 5? Oh, that would equal 65. So that would be equal to, so well, let's try 14 times 5. So 14, so I think I would might try 14 twentieths. 14 times 5, so 4 times 5 is 20. 1 times 5 is 5, add the 2 is 200. Oh dear, I don't know where I got my maths from there, so sorry. 14 times 5 would be 70, not 200. <laughs> okay then, so that would then equal 70%, which is a percentage greater than 65, okay? So remember that your numerator has got to be even, okay? And your percentage has got to be greater than 65. So your questions will look very similar to this today. So it will get your brain really, really, really stretching. But I know that you are all superstars and capable of that. Okay, your work today then is problem solving and reasoning work, fractions, two percentages. So questions one, two and three for bronze. Questions 4, 5 and 6 for silver and questions 7, 8 and 9 for gold and platinum. Remember, only complete three of those questions, not all six or not one to nine. OK, have a great day. Don't forget to upload your work to your portfolio on Class Dojo and email your teachers if you need any help or support. Bye.